Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I am pleased to be able to introduce to you Rodell and Yasmin, who are clients of the Legal Aid Society. Rodell worked with the Individual Rights and Social Justice Practice Group, and we were able to assist him with getting legal status after he experienced a trafficking situation. We were then able to get his daughter to come to the U.S. to join him. Rodell? I came here in 2007 with a working visa, working in a hotel as a room attendant. I was one of 16 other people. Our destination was Tampa, Florida, but my employer sent us to Miami, and some of my friends were sent to a different places. When we arrived in our apartment, we noticed the place was not good. There was no bed. Our bedrooms were unfurnished, and we had to use some old mattresses we found in the basement for beds. Unfortunately, we stayed eight people in one room with one bathroom, and we were paying $75 weekly, each of us, and it was automatically deducted from our paycheck. Our salary was not enough for me to survive and pay my debts in the Philippines, which had interest. There was one time I received $7 in my paycheck. Another problem was our transportation service going to our workplace. Sometimes it was 20 or more passengers in one vehicle. There was one time I seated on a car's floor and the transportation services was not free. Those were some reasons why my friends and I ran away from our employer. We went to New York and worked there for almost seven months. After that, we went back to Florida to work, late, to work there. Later, I went back to California to work as a caregiver, then to Chicago in 2014, doing some same work. One time, a good friend of mine, who also worked in a client of Legal Aid Society, mentioned me and encouraged me to apply for T visa. At that time, I didn't have any ideas about visa. At first, I did not really think about it since I was busy working and, ha and have no time to go there to the office. I did not think that I was not going to be possible for me to get a green card. Until one day, I remember what my friends told me about Legal Aid Society and I, said that, and I suddenly thought, why not give it a try? I started applying for my T-Visa for human trafficking. I did it for myself and my, and my daughter. With the help of Legal Aid Society, especially Attorney Catherine, they helped us out in every step that we took for us to have a green card. If I had never worked with Legal Aid Society, my life would be completely different from now what I have now. I would have still lived with fear of getting caught by the authorities anytime. Before, when I lost my work with visa status here, I had to be careful on every move or action that I took. One simple mistake could be lead me something that could change my life forever. I took a risk of staying here because I have a daughter who was in the Philippines before. And she's the reasons why I came here in the first place. That's why I'm so thankful that my friend recommended me to work on my situation with Legal Aid Society. I can go now anywhere I want without fear anymore. I feel like a, I feel like I used to be a bird in a cage who is now free and I'm excited to experience the opportunities this world has left to offer. After 13 years, I came now on vacation in my country, met all my families, relatives, and friends as well. Because of what happened to me in 2007 and 2008, I never thought what I have given an opportunity to be a permanent re resident here. I used to think that it would be impossible for me to be legal here. My own experience taught me that there's always hope because there's always help. 
We don't know what tomorrow will bring us. With the help of legal aid society, especially attorney Catherine, I, fin- I finally get a chance to unite with my daughter after 11 years. So for the people out there who are experiencing what I used to experience, just keep praying and believe because you never know that maybe tomorrow God will send someone to help you out like how God sent Legal Aid Society to us. So, uh, hi, I'm Jasmine. Uh, so my life before I came here in the U.S. was totally different from what I have right now. I used to envy my friends before because they had dads who, uh, who was with them to support them physically. And I wasn't really close to my dad when I was in my home country since he left when I was still a kid. But when I came here in the U.S., I finally, I finally got to appreciate my dad's sacrifices for me. And we started to be close to each other. And if my dad didn't, uh, didn't find out about legal aid society, I would probably still be in my home country and missing a lot of opportunities here in the U.S. And I would probably still not be close to my dad like what we are now. And I would probably still be depending on his money. Because with the help of the Legal Aid Society, I finally get a chance to work legally and earn my own money. And I can finally buy everything I want with my own money and slowly pay my dad's sacrifices for me. So something that I learned about my experience is that no matter how you think something is impossible to happen, you just have to pray and believe in God because nothing is impossible to Him. It, it was hard for me as a kid to grow up without a father who could look after me physically, but him leaving our home country really gave me a good life and a path to my future. God will always send help to us. God will always see someone as an instrument to help us out. And Legal Aid Society is truly an instrument that God sends to help my dad and me to be reunited again.